G'day fellas, what is happening? Boy, has it been a hot minute. On this episode, it features my beloved Gold Coast Titans and us going up to Brizzy to watch one of the biggest fixtures of the year as a Titans fan. It means so much to them. There's history behind it. There's controversy. There's rivalry. Everything you really want in a game, it's against our arch nemesis, the Brisbane Broncos. And today, I'm going to be able to tick off one of the all-time fixtures that I've wanted to go to as a sports fan. And even more so, I've always wanted to see us win. Can we get it done today? There's only one way to find out. Now, I didn't actually go to this match by myself. I went up with my work colleague and great mate, Savio, who is actually, incidentally, a Broncos supporter. He owns a Broncos jersey. He's aware of the team called the Broncos. And he can name a whopping two players. So let's get up to a Sunday over north of the border and see what happens. Here we go, here we go, here we go. I'm already vastly outnumbered. This is a very unique walk to the ground. Weirs from a station through upstairs, snakes around, some pubs. And I think it's just to the left. Game day store. You can tell this is the walk to the ground. Oh, he touched, touched it? it. I touched it, mate. No, he touched it for bad luck. And here it is, the precinct. There is a baby animal section right outside the stadium. I've never seen that before. That's crazy. They have Who Am I Broncos edition. You know, if I was a Broncos supporter, in a hypothetical universe, if I was a Broncos supporter, and I had kids another hypothetical universe, I'd be highly entertained pre-game, but unfortunately I'm not. Bucks the Broncos! Yeah, the Titans! Calm the Titans! Oh, I'm feeling it now. Proper away days. Like, of the away days I've done, this one ranks right up there in terms of hostility, feeling outnumbered. It matches the Sydney FCB and Melbourne victory away days I've done. Come on, let's get a massive, unexpected win, boys. I'm going to say Broncos are going to get up by 10 just because I have to be somewhat realistic. But actually, I'm going to say Titans nick it by 2. We're either going to win a close one or get absolutely demolished. Chicken and chips in hand, barbecue sauce, Broncos supporter over here. Let's watch some footy. Expect it from uh, Titans really. Come on. Oh. You reckon they're going to score in the first two minutes? Oh, come on. Use him, use him, use him. That is some delightful chicken. Hey. Oh, that's a bad tackle. Let it go, let it go, let it go. Oh, no. No try. Offside. Typical Gold Coast Titans start to a game. I mean, I don't expect anything really. You don't expect anything because <laughs> you don't know anything. Wow. By the way, he's sort of new-ish to the sport, so go easy on him. All he knows is that the Broncos aren't going to win today because I've told him about that. All I know is I put 25 bucks in the Broncos, and if I lose, I'll be very upset. Yeah, well, unfortunately, you're going to be very upset leaving the stadium today. We'll see, we'll see, mate. Again? Oh. oh my god, how many six agains do we want to give away? Oh my god, another one! It's coming. That's what happens when you get six again after six again. Do that to the Broncos, you're gonna get punished. We've got ourselves to play. Come on! Put the afterburners on! Don't. Oh, triple chase. Come on. Minute left. Come on! Come on! Come on! Yes! Yes, boys! Right on the cusp for half time. That's what we like to see. Come on! Come on! That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. Go in the shared sequel. Come on, Savio. Come on, get that up here. Come on, Tanner. Yes, 
Chris Tanner. Right, what's your half time thoughts? We're in it. Plenty of good tackles. Do more laps. Yeah, no, you can. You may as well retire the horse, send him to a farm. You can, he can go and retire, spend the rest of his days there, because he's not going to have any reason to gallop around the field anymore. No more tries. I might actually get on the field myself if we score a few tries. I'll, I'll do a lap myself. I would love to see that. Well, if we score a few more tries, that's not out of the realms of possibility. We're in it. The feed has kept us in it. Come on, let's get a miracle on a Sunday, Arvo. Come Get around it. Tearing down this place. Love it. Oh, it looks alright. Oh, yeah. Let it run, let it run, well done. Can you burn him? Can you burn him? He's gonna go all the way. We're in again. The Titans fans go crazy in that little corner of some court. Told you mate, that horse currently is in a truck on its way to a farm, never to be seen again. I'm only kidding by the way. <laughs> this is a big kick Tanner. This would put us 10 points up. Oh, I think that's a shallow. Oh he's got it! The second half collapse that we usually do is on again. I thought I could pretend that it was never going to happen just by saying we we're going to win. Uh, I don't have a good feeling about this game anymore. Oh, okay. Oh, hello. Oh, I'm not living comfortably right now. We've done this too many times for me to be comfortable. I was masking it this whole time. There's only 10 points in it, it's 24 minutes left. <laughs> yeah, it was only a matter of freaking time. Uh, it's Reese Walsh as well, one of the most grubbiest players. Uh, there's four points in it. Whoa, what's happening? Oh, the NRL bunker's back in action. <laughs> Obstruction? Obstruction! Obstruction! Oh my word! Yeah, get that one up your walls. <laughs> what is even happening in this game? What the fuck is this? Oh, nice kick in. Oh, don't tell me he's got that. Don't tell me. Well, that way. Oh my God. Oh, man. Try. Yeah, you completely missed it. We are silently running away with this, with the help of the ref, and some very questionable rules that have come into play in the last few years. This might get overturned. Okay, is that for Fida kicking it? Oh, go on! Go on, who is that? Go on, all the way! All the way! It's your boy, Go on! Oh, he's offside, oh, he's way offside. Oh. <laughs> offside! I feel good about this. I really don't feel good about this. Oh, we 
we just got away with one. Quintana, make sure you make it a contest. That gives us a little bit of breathing space. It's a good attendance. There's good coverage. 40 seconds left. Yeah, take your time, that's it. Yeah, now just kick it deep. Oh, Jesus, Tanner. <laughs> Pick it up and take it to ground. And the Titans win a famous game at Suncorp. Unbelievable, unbelievable, lads. Freaking come on. Oh, that one means so much. I think that's the best Titans win I've ever seen. I haven't seen many of them. So that one really ranks up there. Yeah. Thank, you. Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate it. I'm speechless. Suncorp conquered, silenced by yours truly. Uh, that, that one's gonna live long in the memory bank. Yeah, go the rabbits. <laughs> now it's time to indulge in a bit of celebrations at the very own Caxton Hotel. Now these next few clips will actually showcase us getting more and more intoxicated as each clip goes on. Stay tuned if you want some interesting entertainment. Is that how I put it? Cheers. We've got Tango happening. And make a oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> change. Why are you going to the <laughs> Life is a highway. I want right. Moon alone. Cheers. Cheers, mate. Welcoming to Spiking Your Drinks with Savio 101. A broken ball top, a 13 year old fucker. He's coming to me. But I'm gonna lock myself in the toilet so he doesn't see. <laughs> Whoops. Oh, morning. Don't have the amount of alcohol that we had last night. Because now I have to go to work in five hours and I feel like a sack of potatoes. Uh, How are we feeling uh, this morning? Uh, my eyes were fully red. They were like blood red. I just tasted kebabs when I woke up. Yeah. We went mm. way too hard last night. Uh, that's when we put the Broncos loss. <laughs> Farewell, Brizzy. It was nice coming up here for two out of three victories this month. The Swans didn't get it done, but the Titans definitely and unexpectedly did. So the rest of the story goes, we ended up going back to work. We worked on about five hours of sleep, tired. We still did our job, we still did it very well. But yeah, we were properly spent after that day. I still can't believe that we actually did it. That was one of the most insane turnarounds I think I've ever done. Cause my word, was I plastered that night. But anyway, that brings an end to another video brought to you by yours truly. Also, notably, for the past two Swans fixtures, I actually have recorded them and uploaded them, but they're not YouTube videos. They're actually TikToks and potentially even Insta Reels. So if you want to head over here, you can check them out. You can follow my TikTok. We're trying to streamline everything. We're getting Insta, TikTok, YouTube. We're just trying different things streamlined all under the one name Sportskip. You can just search us up very easily on any given platform. But that's just something that I wanted to let you guys know. I might even upload them on YouTube. You're just going to have to stay tuned with us on this channel. Again, if you've enjoyed this match day experience, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. Leave us some feedback. Tell us what matches you want to see us go to. I'm just as eagerly open to suggestions as my planned itinerary is. So I'd love to see which matches you guys want to see me go out and get involved in, get stuck into. And until then, I've been your boy, and have a great one, and we'll see you soon. And the Titans got a famous one done in Brisbane against the Arch Nemesis in their territory. How great.